Organizing and storage containers go hand in hand. If when I mention organizing, your first thought is expensive storage containers, then today's video is for you. Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for spending some time with me. On this channel, I love bringing you ideas for organizing, decluttering, doing DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. If you are the type who loves looking at organization containers thinking, it would be so beautiful to have all of these consistent looking containers in my home, but you don't want to spend the money, me, then I want to share how to revamp your storage with these epic upcycle ideas. Now I have a lot of great ideas compiled here today, but I want your feedback on which one or more you'd like me to DIY in a future video. So make sure you watch till the end so that you know all of the items that I'm hoping to upcycle. We're going to break these down by the category of what the recycled item is, starting with tins and cans. What I love about tins is I feel like this is something every home has. Even if they were items you got at Christmas time, save those tins as they can be used for so many amazing storage items. How many of us got those popcorn tins? I love upcycling these. Now this can be as simple as just painting it, putting on stickers. But what about taking these cans to a really elevated level? I think these little Happy Valentine Day cans with a cork and some wire are stunning. If I saw these in a little boutique, I would probably buy them. But if you have some tea tins lying around, what about putting them together with a small breadboard, using some wire and a cork again for a decorative handle? I would be very happy to have this in my bathroom, in my craft room, or even in my kitchen for organizing utensils. Speaking of utensils, by adding several regular cans together with a small decoupage sticker or leaving simplistic weeks a wonderful way when you're entertaining. Cookie tins are another item that could be beautifully upcycled. This one they used a little bit of decoupage and distressed with paint. And by adding a small candlestick to the bottom or small plant stand, you could really make this look elegant. And really the only cost are the small supplies for decoupaging and distressing it with paint. An assorted size of larger tins can really elevate if you unify a look with a simplistic white background and some sheet music or old newspaper. By using assorted size tins, you can really get decorative. This is simple wrapping paper with unified labels and with a little bit of carpentry skill, a couple of wood rounds and a small knob, you can absolutely make these look high end. Need a lot of sorting tins? Go ahead and elevate the look of these. This will inspire you in your work area. And if you've got those small tuna or chicken cans, I once took these with a simple Dollar Tree paper towel holder and made this amazing stacking craft organizer that is still probably one of my favorite creations. Now moving into one of my favorite items, wood scraps. This would be a great pairing with those cans we just talked about. This would be such a wonderful organizer on a workbench for a barbecue. What would you use this for? By staining some different pieces of flat wood, you can absolutely elevate an existing box that you have, put it on a shelf, and no one would know an inexpensive organizer was behind it. By taking a simple box and adding wood to the front, you can really make these look so high end. What about taking two pieces and attaching them together to hide a power strip on a shelf? These little Dollar Tree crates can now be made to look so expensive by just adding a scrap piece of wood to the front and a beautiful little pull handle. This idea pairs two baskets. By just zip tying them together, you can still add this piece of wood to the front with a handle. This means it looks beautiful sitting on a shelf or in a cabinet, but you still have easy access to those baskets. With this example, they took one of those inexpensive baskets. They made a frame from the scraps with a pull handle at the bottom. This allows you to unify the front with old vintage newspaper, cutouts, magazines. You can even create art which would describe what's inside of those baskets, but it makes it look so much nicer on your shelves. Now this is one of the ones I would really like to make, so if you are interested in seeing how you could make this, let me know in the comments by voting option 1. You know I love magazine holders. By getting some inexpensive Dollar Tree bins or upcycling boxes that you already have, you can absolutely elevate the look and customize it to what your aesthetic is. I love these ideas. 
But if you have simple baskets, why not line the bottom to once again elevate the look, but make them more functional so those small things are not falling through. Of course, you can always take small scraps and make dividers for your drawers or boxes. If you have or find some scrap sheets of wood, cutting them down and using some hose clamps, you can put in mason jars or these small planters for vertical organization. This is the second option I would love to make. I think this would be a great organizer in a craft room or in an office, even in a workbench. So vote if you're interested in option two. Have some extra 4x4s and 2x4s. You can create vertical bookcases without having to spend any money, and these wouldn't even need hardware because you could always use wood glue. Just make sure you're not going so high that you have to worry about anything toppling over. As you know, Home Depot and Lowe's will cut down wood for you. Well, oftentimes people don't want the cut off piece and they will put these in a corner and throw them away. So if you're looking for some wood, check with them at the end of the evening, ask the person's name, but I can't tell you how many times I've gotten amazing pieces of wood just by saying, hey, I checked with Tony in the wood cutting section. He said this was free and you can take it home and craft away. So check in the back, see if there's anything left over. But they also have cull lumber, which is sometimes damaged or broken that you can buy affordably. Wood pallets are an amazing source, but you can also check your Facebook marketplace offer up for free wood items. Now let's talk about cardboard. Cardboard boxes are one of my favorite things to upcycle because you can cover them with so many different mediums. Do you have wrapping paper, fabric, contact paper, you can decoupage them, spray paint them. You could even take some wood and surround the outside to make this look like a uniform high-end storage piece and you can use the items you already have lying around the house. Vote for option three if you'd like to see how to transform these cardboard magazine holders into a beautiful upcycled item that would sit on your shelves. And if you have a custom space that you need storage, Cut your boxes down. I love this idea for the stairs. How many of us would love to have a box that could sit on your stairs, but they're pretty pricey. Upcycle it yourself and you can make it match your decor for pennies. With multiple boxes that are the same size, you can always turn these into useful storage in a small space without spending a lot of money. And keep an eye out for displays like this because they are made strong, sturdy, and most of the times these sadly get broken down and thrown into a landfill. The great thing about boxes is you can cut them down to fit what you want them to look like. I love this little mini house idea by just cutting down a box and adding a little bit of wood trim. Now let's get into the plastic containers. I think we all have multiples of these plastic containers that are worth saving. If you're finding you have a lot of containers, cut them down to fit your needs because they're so easy to paint over. Coffee cans are a wonderful way to upcycle, repaint, and use for lots of storage. I know because I did this in a video before. If you'd like to know how to make these vintage containers that only cost 30 cents, check out the description below for a link. These amazing containers are made from crystal light containers and boy are there a lot of variations on how to upcycle them. These kitty litter containers by painting them and decoupaging the outside are gorgeous. But what about these Talinti ice cream containers? Now, these are expensive containers. Why throw them away when it makes such uniform storage? So as you're throwing these plastic containers away, consider if you could utilize them in some other way. They are so easy to cover with contact paper, wrapping paper, spray paint them, or if you've got mad painting skills, paint them to match and look beautiful in your space and create all that extra storage. Or do something fun and whimsical. With these soda bottles, you can add a zipper by gluing it on or even cut the bottoms to create this beautiful jewelry organizer. Now let's look at books. This is another one that I would love to make. By cutting the spines off of books and attaching them to a wood or cardboard box, which leads me to option four, let me know what you think of this idea to upcycle. 
These book spines would look so beautiful on a shelf and you could hide all kinds of things inside. And what I love about most of these ideas is it doesn't have to be organizing in the craft room. What if you have small things in your living room, your bedroom, for jewelry, for makeup, in the garage? It doesn't have to just be a simple container. With all of these things that we are throwing away on a constant basis, or we have a neighbor, a friend, a loved one who has these continuous items that they buy, let them be a unified storage option for you and upcycle it so it looks beautiful. So which item are you going to vote for? I love all four of these and I'd be happy to do all four if you show interest. And if I didn't pick one that you love, let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see me make. Also, thank you so much. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and I love meeting each and every one of you, but talking to my longtime viewers is something that I absolutely love doing. So if you haven't said hello in a while, be sure to do so. And if you're visiting me for the first time, please consider clicking that subscribe button and joining my crafty family. These videos are largely made from the support of my patrons and I have all types of fun things scheduled for them. So if you'd like to support this channel in another way besides clicking, commenting, and subscribing, please consider becoming a Patreon. That information is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye!